All right, time for the uh, newest update. Oops, I didn't see that. <laughs> the newest update to HCVR Alpha 2. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves a new, well, new components to the indoor range here. But first, let's check out the new gun, the HK 416. Uh, oft requested. Anton finally put it in for those of you who like uh, this uh, weapon. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's an okay gun. Not my favorite, but, uh, you know, it it, uh, it works. Ooh, these actually fit, uh, yeah, so we get the standard 30-round uh, magazine. Right? 30-round? Oh, no, this is not 30-round. Hold on. Let me go check the uh, item spawner here. SMG rifle. The uh, assault rifle. I think this is 30. Uh, well, I don't know. Hold on magazine well yeah so we got a smaller magazine and we got a very nice extended drum magazine which fits in the uh, slots there also two iron sights if you like iron sights this already comes with them oh i thought it did but nope those iron sights on is this backwards hold on no this is backwards okay that there take a look Hmm, very nice. Alright, so let's try this out. But, before we do try it out, let's check out the uh, new new stuff over here. First off, we got our new uh, little target uh, target controller here. Little panel, target panel. Uh, it looks kind of like the uh, original one, but has this nice little uh, area right here. So you can uh, spawn targets. And we got a new target, so let's spawn that one. Let's do a uh, week. And then... How do you uh, spawn this? Right, hold on. Hmm. Oh, there we go. You press reset. Okay, so put on week. Put on reset. There we go. Nice little... Uh, high visibility target so you can see it better but uh, let's move this out to five meters nice and fast Anton modified that so that uh, it was uh, the target moves a lot faster and let's uh, try out this uh, gun here oh you know what, I should turn off uh, some options here. Let's go to Firearm Object, No Bullet Trails, and uh, yeah, we'll do that. And Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. There's also um, Smooth Turn, which uh, I'm, I mean, I don't really care much about the uh, smooth locomotion. But, uh, oh my goodness, where is this? Uh, uh, I'm using Arm Swinger, so... Um, hmm, smooth turn, right? So if we switch to, actually, you know what? About that, I could do that. Let's see, uh, two axis? Hmm, I don't know how to do this. But yeah, I mean, I've never really been one for, uh, for like adding smooth turn into games. A lot of people like it, but uh, it doesn't really bother me. I, it's just that I, you know, I've really never, I, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really care, <laughs> to be honest. I don't get sick. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't have vertigo or I don't have motion sickness or VR sickness as people like to call it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can do smooth locomotion. Oops, did I turn it off? There we go. I can do smooth locomotion. I don't get sick. Look at this. I'm okay. Oop. What on here do I? Oh, I double tap. It says I can move around all over the place. I can look while I'm moving, while uh, doing the smooth locomotion. It doesn't make me sick, but I don't really care much for it, so. I use arm swinger. Okay. But yeah, so. Um, man, I've never really looked at these options, right? Movement speed. Oh, I don't know. 
Twin, uh, twin stick smooth turn. Oh, man, this is... Uh... Hold on. Global... Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Smooth turn degrees per second. You can increase it to as... as uh... How do you smooth turn? I don't think you can, right? With the Vive controllers? Huh. Nope. Twin stick. Oh, there we go. There's smooth turning. So, yeah, see? Basically, you can do that. Ah, like I said, I don't get sick from this stuff, so. That's 90 DPS. 120 is a little faster. 150 is even more faster. 270 is really fast. Which, again, doesn't bother me. I can do this all day. I mean, you know, I can just spin counterclockwise at the same time. <laughs> But uh, 360 is really fast. That might get you a lot sick. Hopefully you guys aren't too sick from this. But uh, yeah, so we got controls on this side. and yeah, It's not really that well suited for Vive controllers. But uh, I'm going to switch back to Arm Swinger here. But yeah, you know, so for those people out there who've been complaining about Smooth Turn, well, now you got it. Hopefully it's good. I, I can't really test it because... I have Vive controllers, so, you know, that's that's cool for you guys, right? Uh, what else is there? Firearm, object, performance, no, not performance. Input, uh, alternate magazine pose angle. So this is a new thing, which uh, I kind of like. I mean, it's not, again, not useful for Vive controllers, but basically, oh, you know what? I need to show off this thing. No, okay. So basically, you got your magazines out to the side like this. So for people who have like, uh, you know, controllers uh, that interact with the gun with the other controller while you're like reloading the gun, you, you know, the magazine is offset to the side now so that you can. But here's the uh, original for the Vive. You can see where the uh, magazine is like in the center of the controller there. I just have to shoot this gun. Hold on. Okay. But yeah, you know, so you got that. And uh, I think that's about it for the uh, control stuff. Out of way, and let's check out this uh, this new target system here. Oops, uh, I'm so used to touching the buttons. I like this new uh, laser pointer thing, right? Because you usually you'd have to uh, you'd have to touch the buttons now, but no, nope, you can just uh, you can point far away. You don't have to worry about. Oh, there's a wall right here. I'm hitting the wall, which you know, so like over here, and you want to press something up. Oh. There's a wall there. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we got the new target. We got the new gun. All right, over here is the shot uh, scoring panel. The uh, scoring controller, there it is. So basically, for those of you who want a uh, shot clock, then you've got your thing right here. Is, oh, pretty nice. If we reset the sheet, we get another one. We do, huh? Let's try a drum magazine here. Oh, I'm so used to. I am so used to uh, to uh, po pressing the buttons. Okay, so uh, let's see. Timings here. reset no that doesn't do anything we have to begin a new set so the open sets that's uh, I think that's the just you know so you can shoot stuff there's no shot clock but you can begin a new set 
sheet up. See how accurate I can be. Pretty cool. Do another set. Set the target. Ooh. My hands are shaking. Eh, pretty good. Uh, check out the timings here. Perfect tens there. <laughs> Except for that center one. I didn't get that. It was close. It was close. I wonder if these other uh, dots here... Oh, that's a zero. Hold on. Let's clear. And... Set. Whoa! That was a zero. So that's a ten. Oh, that's nice. These uh, these other dots here are uh, scoring wise, are pretty accurate. Look at that. All right, that's cool. So you could have like tinier, tinier targets. There's one up here. Oh, there's one down there. I can't quite get to it. There we go. The black dots are seven. Red dots are ten. Hmm. Let me reset this. Let's do a new set. Nine, eight, seven. So these are all sevens, right? Okay. Tens. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's go with a strong target this time. We get a new set. Or let's actually move this down. Five meters. All right, so uh, that's the open sets, which means you, you can just shoot whatever. There's no time. There's no timer. Whatever. There's no splits. So now we go to shot clock sets. And we got a time set clock countdown from 5 seconds to 10, to 5 to 10 seconds. And then we got different little modes here. Standard count, which means that you can have the gun up and ready. Right? And then the, the beep goes and you shoot things, so let's do that. For five, let's do a random. Hmm, <sighs> pretty nice. Well, I don't know, really. I'm not really a numbers kind of guy, but... Uh, I'm talking about the mode itself. That's pretty cool. So, that's standard count, which means that you can have your gun in any position you want. Alright, let's now try muzzle down. Let's uh, get a little space here. And that's what Anton needs to do uh, uh, soon enough. I think since he's doing the uh, indoor uh, shooting range rework, we need to have the ability to, uh, to move this uh, little... Uh, Platform barrier thing here because you know trying to uh, well I mean you could probably get like uh, you know uh, a carbine or something this is a full on you know full length rifle so a carbine would be pretty nice here but yeah you know the ability to to move this that's what Anton needs to do I think be really cool and uh, I don't know wait hold on just wait a minute I don't know why my play space is so Rangely oriented. I didn't change anything, but yeah. So let's try muzzle down. Go a little back so we can. Uh... Okay, we got a round in the chamber. We put it on safe. And then, you know, do a full experience like you have to take it off safe. 
and then clear your weapon afterwards. <laughs> I know some people will be doing that. All right. Begin a new set. Muzzle down. Safety off. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the time there. I need to work on that, but uh, it's clear. Oh, I actually want to try out something when I uh, empty the mag. All right. So, last mode is empty hands. Nothing in your hands. And, uh, yeah, basically everything else. I'm going to do random again. Reset this target. And, uh, all right. I wonder if I do a larger target. No, we'll do the uh, new one. Okay. So let's begin a new set. Yeah, last time, uh, when my, uh, gun was at the ready, uh, I got a pretty good grouping there. Look at that. But then I did the, uh, muzzle down, and, uh, that got a little terrible right there. <laughs> I wonder how the new set's gonna be like. All right. Empty hands. No, nothing in the hands. Make sure everything is good. And... Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible, terrible, <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Yeah, you know, trying to, trying to find your gun in like virtual reality is kind of hard without looking at it. It should be good. All right. Let's try this out. Pistol. Just do um, empty hands again with a pistol. And uh, let's go with a... Two meters? No, that's pretty bad. Let's go with ten meters. Oh, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> okay. All right, no, no, no. Eh, not good, but not bad. Let me see, hold on just a second. Huh? All right. Take my sheet out. First one was a seven, right? Oh, well, oh, this is a different target. Hold on. Set. Bring it back here. Yeah, the first one was a seven. Uh, I in time probably needs to fix this, but that's okay. First one was a seven. I know I hit that one first. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Got a couple bullseyes, though. Okay, let's try again. This time, muzzle down. Ooh. I missed the first two. Not good, not good. Need more work on this uh, aiming. Try it again, one more time. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna spend so much time doing this. This is gonna be bad. This is bad, Anton. Why you gotta do this to me? You gotta make something so addictive. Alright, muzzle down again. Alright. No, yeah, not bad. A lot of nines there. Couple tens. One eight. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. 
Let me just try a standard count here. Five seconds. Reset the uh, target here. Ooh. Hmm, not as good as last time, but, uh... That's okay. Let me see if I can hit these, uh... Hit these, uh... Hit these targets over here. Okay. Let's just do one more. Empty hands. And let's go for a uh, close quarters kind of uh, distance. Let's go with uh, five meters. That's close, I guess. <laughs> I don't want them any closer, so. Uh, empty hands. Oh no, did I? Oh man, empty hands is gonna be tough. Oh, a lot of them. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, a lot of good hits there, but I mean, that's just they're closer, you know. So, okay, so let's drop this off right there. Clear. Let's clear out these guns and melee. Magazines. Oop, yeah, get rid of those. All right, since this gun is in the game, let's try customizing it. Uh, let's go to attachment. Got iron sights on this thing. Hmm. I mean, you know, I I I like the uh, HK style sights. This is an H and K weapon. But what if we? Oop, let's uh, adjust that. You can if you want. I'm going to. What if we try uh, regular iron sights here? Sacrilege, I know, but... Hmm. These can fold down as well, so... If you want. You know. All right, what should I put on this thing? <laughs> the M4A1 <laughs> handle sight? No. All right. Uh, should I get a re reflex sight? Oh, which one of these looks good? Hmm. This will blow. Yeah, I know. Not really the best looking. No. No, no. Kind of chunky. Oh, man. I don't know what to pick. It's all personal preference. Ooh, let's try the, uh, a little too low on the, uh, let's see. Something like a red dot tall. Hmm, nah. I don't know. I'll have to, i have to think about that, you know? But I will do a suppressor. Let's try putting a, uh, let's see. Ooh, should I go with a QC9? No, no, that's kind of outdated. Let's go with the, uh, go with a corded. Ooh, nice. Oh, this one has a... Oh, okay. Wait a minute, hold on. You think that would, uh, huh? Hmm, okay. Cool. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay. So we got the QC nine. I wonder if we can, no, I don't think so, but, uh, let's go with a bayonet. 
can we stick a I don't think we can would be kind of weird oh we can all right we get a bayonet here if you like your guns with a sharp pointy knives at the end and you can do that that's pretty cool it's compatible with the M9 bayonet. Okay, let's see. Go to attachments here. I'll stick that in my belt. <laughs> uh, under barrel. Ooh. No, I don't think this will work. We might have to do the uh, M203 Picatinny. But we'll try it. No, it doesn't. But you do have to use the Picatinny. Right about there. Where does the uh, where's the barrel end? Okay. All right. That. Let's do a. Let's do a laser sight here. Let's go with a tactical laser. Right in the front, like so. Not in the front. Hold on. I could do some really cool stuff with this. Hold on, just a second. Let me get a red dot tall on this, and then. Let's do a, ooh, let's go with the clash light. Let me see if this fits. No, not quite. It's a little too big. But the sure glow. A little too, too chunky as well. Hmm. I might need something bigger. Ooh. This might work. This right here. Then we'll stick this. Match that. We'll do a clash light. It's still a little too big. Yeah, this will work. Oh, wait. Nope. It didn't work before. Mm, a little too obvious. Don't remember how I did it before exactly. Good. Actually, yeah, that's right. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, the laser will be blocked, huh? I can't do that. Okay, then. I just... Grabbed a ooh, double axis tilt. No, that's rail riser tall. Hmm. Let me just do one thing here. Mm, nah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't get off. Oh, I don't know about that uh, that large red dot. Let's try something a little smaller. Let's go with the. Uh, oh yeah. You know what? Hold on. Sustenance reflex. It's a little hard to see. But you got a laser. And then, we'll do a clash light on the side here. Hmm. Okay. 
Get some uh, decorative items here. The large rail covers. Those are too large. Hmm. Those are too large. Let's get the mediums. Hmm. I will have to play around with this to see uh, what I can do. Eh, it seems okay. I stick with the longs. Oops. Mm, those look like they're lined up, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a terrible, terrible design. I need to really uh, flesh this out a bit more. Actually, hold on. I want to block that. this a little farther back. This is like 90% of my time in this game. Is, uh, <laughs> is doing like gun customization. Terrible gun customization. Set the target. Let's go some of this. Did I not turn on my laser? There we go. Oh. Oh no. Oops, into the gun. I'm going to move this a bit forward. Oh, did I? No, 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 no. Okay. I didn't want to do a uh, shot clock right there. I just wanted to mess around with this gun. So, got that. Good stuff. Oh, man. All these attachments. Get out of here. Again, not final. Not perfect. I really need to mess around with all the attachments and see what looks good. But uh, you've got a pretty good gun here. You know? If you like the 416, then you'll love this. But before I stop, because uh, I'm probably going to take like forever trying to customize, let's load up, uh, ooh, okay, load up uh, one of my saved guns here and I'm going to go do a run. Oops, didn't mean to do that, get out of here. <laughs> and you... Stay over there. Let's reset. Let's do a shot clock set. Nuzzle down. 
and let's go. Okay. Pretty good. Begin a new set. Muzzle down. This thing is fully loaded. No doubt I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, but if I do, then it's probably going to take me like three hours to record, so I'm going to save this gun. That needs a little bit more work, but uh, I'll get around to that sooner or later. Uh, wait, hold on. Whoop. Let's do a full mag in here. We already got a bullet in the chamber. Come on. Scan that. Okay, cool. Well, yep, that's about it for today. Uh, pretty cool update. I can't wait to see what's in the next alpha. I really do love the Mark 23, though. Very chonky gun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.